Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today is my very last favorites video for Bagtoberfest and I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite travel bags. Alright, I'm going to start out with the biggest one and this is my Mina Bay London Weekender and this bag has it all. Um, I've been looking for a really awesome bigger bag to use for like weekend trips, um, even longer trips if I need it. It has so many pockets, it has so many cool features. I have a whole review of just this bag. It is a really amazing um, weekender bag. You can see just from the outside, there's so much organization. I have a pocket here for my phone. You have a pocket slash luggage sleeve right here. There's humongous pockets on the sides for bottles or whatever else you need. Uh, the front has this really ginormous pocket with so much organization on the inside. And I love that the interior is a nice light color. So it's really easy to see everything inside of your bag. And not only is this bag really functional, it's so pretty as well. It is a beautiful nylon material, but then it does have the real leather um, detailing. And you can see when I open this video, Baby up. There is a lot of organization going on inside. So for travel, this is definitely one of my top favorite bags. All right, moving on to another bag that I've had forever and I love it when I'm traveling. I usually pack it inside of my suitcase is my Juju B Super B. There are so many print color options to choose from from Juju B and they're always coming out with new stuff. So you can definitely find something that will fit your style. Um, but the thing that I love most about this is it's so easy to fold it up, throw it in your suitcase, and if you need extra space, you're able to grab this out and use this, um, and it's so nice and big. So I've used this multiple times when traveling, um, especially when we went to Europe. We went to London and then Scotland, but we had to leave some of our items in London. We could only take a carry-on to Scotland with us, and so I actually left my big suitcase, but fit everything that I could inside of here and used this as my carry-on, and it fits so much in it. So I was so grateful that I brought this with me. So not only is it really nice big tote, it does have pockets here on the front to help keep you organized. It has a snap pocket here on the back. There are little tabs here, so if you want to, you can attach a messenger strap, and Jujube does sell those separately, so you can grab yourself a messenger strap if that's the way that you prefer to carry it. And the best thing about this bag is it's machine washable. So especially if I'm traveling, it's gonna get dirty. It's inevitable, you're at the airport, throwing it under the seat in the airplane. It's gonna get a little bit dirty, and so I love that I'm able to just toss this in the washing machine. It's just such an easy bag, so I love the Jujube Super B. The next ones I wanna share with you are kind of similar to the Jujube you be super B. Um, I have here some MZ Wallace bags that I really like for travel as well. These ones seem obviously they're higher price. They do seem higher end. They're, they are easily wipeable and easily cleanable. Not as much as Jujube though. You can throw that into the washing machine. These ones are more kind of spot clean, but I still find them really nice and functional and it's the same kind of thing. I can totally squish this up and throw this into my suitcase. And I love that it's a, just a little bit like classier looking. It has some really pretty hardware here on the sides. This one is the MZ Wallace large Sutton, and I like the drop length on this one. I like that it has a really fun, um, chunky zipper here. It does come with other pouches, and it's trimmed out in a beautiful Italian leather, so it just makes it feel really nice and high-end, and it makes you feel dressy, even though it is more of like a lightweight nylon bag. Probably one of my favorite totes from MZ Wallace is actually the Max bag, and that is because it has the same ability to be nice and like squished up and folded up, and then when you pull it out, it looks just like new. But this one in particular has a lot of great features for travel. On the back, you have a zippered pocket down here, so this becomes a luggage sleeve, so that's amazing. You have long front and back pockets, so these are perfect for your boarding pass, your phone, any of that kind of stuff is great, and then you can throw a water bottle into these side pockets. So I really love this bag from MZ Wallace um, for those outer pockets and those outer features. Um, just makes everything really accessible and easy when you're traveling. I'm gonna move on to my favorite travel backpacks. Mina Bay is amazing. They pretty much include a luggage sleeve with all of their bags. So you'll notice it has a little zipper down here and it has a magnetic, it has a magnetic closure here at the top. So perfect for travel. And then um, some of the bigger bags are able to hold laptops really easily. 
Um, my laptop is a 14 inch, so this is the midi size of the Harper, and so it doesn't fit my 14 inch laptop, but I believe the regular size Harper will fit a 13 inch laptop. But of course, Mina Bay makes excellent, beautiful, high quality bags that are amazing for travel. There's so much organization in here. And since they include luggage sleeves with like all of their bags, you really can't go wrong with any of the Mina Bay bags on the website. All right, of course I love my Dagny Dover Dakota backpacks. The newer versions of the bags, which are all on their website right now, do have um, luggage sleeves on the back of the backpacks. The only one that doesn't have a luggage sleeve is the small Dakota. This one here is the large and I love the large for travel because it does have this extra back pocket right here which is perfect for your laptop. It's a nice thin pocket but it's really nice and super padded. Something else I love about Dagny Dover, which I mentioned a million times, is it's really easy to clean. The fabric is just really nice and forgiving. I love how squishy and comfortable these backpack straps are. Um, definitely one of my favorite bags for travel for sure. Um, my husband and I, we had like a one day trip um, to San Francisco a while ago. We went and saw a play there. And since we were only gonna be there one night, we took the large Dakota backpack and stuffed it with both of our stuff and just took this bag and it was amazing we could pass it back between us because they're really nice and unisex. The bag is really easily stuffable, um, it's stretchy, and inside you have tons and tons of organization in here as well. I know I've talked about Dagny Dover a million times, so you guys have heard it a million times, but I love Dagny Dover products and their backpacks are my absolute favorite. I've been absolutely loving my MZ Wallace backpacks for travel as well. This one is perfect because it does have the luggage sleeve on the back. So again, you have a zippered pocket down here, a magnetic closure at the top, and you can throw this over your luggage. And this one does hold my laptop really well. It's so beautiful with all the gorgeous hardware. I forgot to mention, this is the MC Wallace Crosby backpack. And it does have some good organization on the inside for you. It comes with pouches. I like how like classy and pretty this looks with all of the pretty hardware on it, but it is still the nylon material. So it's nice and lightweight. I especially love bringing this um, on trips when I know I'm going to be walking around a lot all day because this is super comfortable and lightweight to wear. It doesn't weigh me down, but it does hold a lot in here. With all of these outer pockets and things, you can really stay nice and organized. So, absolutely love MZ Wallace backpacks for traveling. All right, the last one I want to share with you is my Lily Jade Large Anna. This is in the camel color. This one is a really great travel option because on the back here, it does have a whole separate section for something like your laptop, shoes, different things like that are very easily accessible here on the back. So if you're at the airport and you need to pull out your electronics, it makes it easy to have that separate pocket here on the back. Um, I love that it's backpack carry. It's very comfortable to wear. These, are, these backpack straps are nice and thick. The front has great organization for you and the inside is a nice light color so you can grab everything you need with no problem. This does fit kind of sideways under the seat in front of you. So I know it's like a tall bag so it'd be hard to put it this way under the seat but if you kind of lay it down and put it under the seat in front of you, it fits just fine. So if you're looking for a little bit of a classier, pretty looking travel bag, this is definitely a good option for sure. The leather is very easy to clean. It's so, so beautiful. Lily Jade is known for making really beautiful, high quality bags. I think the only thing that this one is missing that pretty much all the other ones had was a luggage sleeve. There is no luggage sleeve here on the back. So that's the only thing that I wish they would add here to the back is some sort of luggage sleeve. But other than that, this is an amazing travel bag. I know we're not really traveling a lot these days, but when we are traveling again, hopefully this video will help you to be prepared and kind of figure out which bag would work best for you and your family. Hope you guys have been enjoying Bagtoberfest so far. I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys entering the giveaways and commenting on the videos and the Instagram posts. It means a lot to me and my channel. You guys really are the best. I will see you in my next review.